So tell us the sports arena of yours. You've got a yeah. huge arena here. It's amazing. It's uh, we've got wonderful basketball courts. We've got a uh, place for Shastravidya, right? We have uh, during sports time we have. Um, about 20, 30 kids learning Shastra video over here. We have kids playing basketball game here. Um, and staff plays as well. In fact, staff uh, played a game yesterday against uh, the kids. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we, we won. No, oh, we won. Come on. I kid you not. <laughs> we won. <laughs> they were they were all bigger than us, <laughs> but we did win. But uh, anyway, you know, it's they just like it's you. it's that kind of interaction that we have with the kids. We're we're not uncle and aunties anymore. Yeah. You know, it's more that we're one of their peers. Exactly. But at the same time, we are guiding them in a certain direction. But we're their peers. But in addition to this, we have, you know, uh, indoor I see. You know, sort of roller rink, exactly. which also has a basketball court. So if it's raining, we can play basketball, basketball in, uh, in a covered environment. Yeah. We have um, over here, to this side, we have our swimming pool mm -hmm. in the back. And then behind that, we have some fields for volleyball and soccer and baseball. Um, and it's just a nice compact yeah. environment so that you know you're not walking too far from one location to uh, the, the other so you've got Devon Hall over here right centrally building. located exactly that's our central point yep. you know and it's significant in its location as well right it's meant to be our central location absolutely the dining hall is just a few steps away at that point so it's really the camp is just this one space here we've got the cabins the in cabins the back. are right there <clears throat> and the cabins are separated, boys and girls, and you know, it's just very compact, so nice and uh, easy for the kids to move around. And you know, it's a good feeling as a, as a parent, because you feel, from here on, you can keep an eye yes. on everything. You've had that yes, comfort yes, level yes. that you can keep an eye on everything. Exactly. 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 That's, and that would, that's the intent. When we look for a campsite, we look for something compact. Yeah. Because, you know, we know the kids are going to you know, want to wander and explore, and it's no, just no. not something we want to do. So Absolutely. it makes it easier. And when you have two, so many kids <laughs> and you have so many staff, you want to make sure that, you know, we can take care of everybody. That's so, great. You know. And, you know, now, I want to go up to the Darbar Hall. It's it's a beautiful Darbar Hall that you have here. I know you have a lot of um, classes here, yeah. courses here, yeah. Punjabi, yeah. De, Sikhi. De. Right. But another big part that you have is the intensive training program yes. and the discussions programs, yes. which I find absolutely very fulfilling as a yes. person yes. to have these classes. Yeah. Uh, I would love to. I mean, that's one of our pride and joys. Our camp is really based on a couple of things. It's based on Barney. Mm -hmm. Teaching Barney, teaching Part, mm -hmm. teaching and doing Kirtan and discussions. Mm -hmm. um, so intensive training is where we give every child an opportunity to learn the pronunciations um, and the meanings of a given Barney. And we will teach everything from Japji Sahib to Jab Sahib, Savey, Chopay Sahib, Anand Sahib, Rudas, Sukhmani Sahib, mm -hmm. Asa Kibar. We'll even you know, teach Chopay Sahib. We'll teach everything, anything yeah. the kids want to learn. Yeah. Right? If they say, I want to learn Shabbat Azadeh, we'll We'll find a teacher and we'll teach, and we'll that, teach that, right? Too. But the idea being that by the end of the camp, they will have a good idea of how to pronounce it and to be able to go home and recite the Bani on their own. Oh, what right? a feeling to hear exactly. your child say that. What exactly. a feeling. Right? Yeah. So that's just great. And, you know, the way we do our morning nickname, for example, now we've taken the younger kids and we just do Japji side with them so that when they leave the camp, um, they will know all of Japji side. And that's amazing for an eight, nine-year-old to go home come here for a week and go home and be able to say, I know Jap Chisa, yeah. right? To be that able is a big thing. That's a huge that's thing, a big right? big thing. Yeah, so, and then we structure classes. You know, our classes are, again, quite well thought out. Mm -hmm. We have a Sikh way of life class, which yeah. is like a Rath class. Mm -hmm. Then we have Sikh history and we have a Gurmat class. Mm -hmm. All meant, again, we use like history. We use events in history to teach, again, the core values. Mm -hmm. It's not about dates, it's about teaching the core values. Yeah. Once those, we repeatedly teach those same core values so that when they leave, it's instilled in them instilled quite solid. Them. Yeah. Wow. This yeah. is a really, you know, it's, it's really a nice program that you have here. And it's, uh, it's beautiful, I must say again. It's absolutely beautiful the way you have everything. And, thank you. And you know, God bless. Thank you so much. Update, no, thank and you. on your family that you keep doing this yeah. for so many years. We're looking forward to the 35th year. Yeah, next, next year. year. That's yeah. a big thing. That's big. So yeah. we're definitely looking forward to that as well. Yeah. So but we couldn't do it without everybody else. You know, yeah. it's it's not, there's no one person that can make this thing work. It's just too big. It's too much responsibility. So there's so many pieces and, you know, it's really, 
thanks to them that we can do this, yeah. you know, all of us together. And so that's that's a key element. Well, Liv Lien Singh Ji, before we go, one last thing. What is your message to all the parents out there and your message to all the kids who are going to watch you on YouTube after this? Okay. So give us your message to both. Sure. Message to the parents is, um, you know, when a child is two years old and they want Coke, um, we basically tell them no. When a child is three and they want to go outside in their shorts in the winter time, we say no. Um, when a child is six and seven and we, they don't want to do their homework, but they'd rather watch TV, we say no, you can do this after you've. So the message to the parents is we instill a lot of discipline into our children. We instill certain type of behaviors into our children. But when it comes to sick we say, oh, no, 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 that has to come from within. And how is that supposed to happen? Mm -hmm. It is our job as parents to put in that feeling into them. If we want them to be a sick, it's our job, just the way we say to them, no dessert um, till, or no TV till homework is done, you know, or no dessert till dinner is done. Just the way we put in these sort of values into them, we need to do the same when it comes to Sikhi. We can't leave that as a, you know, toss of the dice and see, okay, let's see what happens. Because at that point, the cultural forces here and in general in, in the world today are so strong with the internet and you know with YouTube and all these other things they're so strong that we're fighting an uphill battle yeah. that to do that requires constant supervision constant involvement and uh, integration into the family life uh, for all the kids and that's something that's critical and that's what the parents really be, need to be doing if you know for for their kids to succeed in their sake. Betterment of the sake. Absolutely. And what would you like to tell our little campers over here who are going to see Sean Uncle as they call you? What would you like to tell them? That we're incredibly proud of you. Um, you guys are growing up in a very difficult time. Um, as much as you can assimilate within the community, it becomes harder and harder for you to stand out. It was easier, I think, for us to grow up in 1970 mm -hmm. when there was no sick here because we knew we were different. We knew that we had to fight for our survival, and I think that made us value our Sikhi a lot more. Um, nowadays, you can assimilate easily. You're easily accepted into every situation. Um, it's more important for you to consciously now be aware of the decisions that you're making so that you're taking the right steps and making sure you stay on the right path, because um, ultimately it's you know, about your Sikhi. Uh, and that's what we, we want the kids to really think about. And that's a hard thing to do. And it's something that requires constant supervision, you know, supervision. And um, that's where we get into Japji Saib of Manjit Jagjit. Right? Yeah. You've got to really control that.